Hey guys, what's up? It's me, the Banana, and today we'll be talking about something extremely nostalgic for me. Goosebumps books. Ah, Goosebumps books. Good old Goosebumps books. I remember back when I was about 9 or 10, the Goosebumps were my life. I lived and breathed Goosebumps. I remember some days I'd even read two or three full books in just one day. I was obsessed. I bought the TV show episodes on iTunes. I always rushed out to my local bookstore to buy the newest R.L. Stein books. I always tried showing my friends the TV episodes, and I even tried writing my own creepy stories inspired by R.L. Stein himself. I was completely addicted. So I thought, seeing as though it is the month of October, I should pay homage to the book series I used to be obsessed with, Goosebumps. So today we will be looking at four Goosebumps books that uh, I used to love and they've just stuck with me for a long time. Uh, now four, I say four because um, these are really the only four that really stuck with me. There's some that I, I, I kind of love, like there's some I loved, but these are the ones I really love. So, these four are my top four favorite. So, let's just jump right in. So, the first book we're going to be talking about today is Be Careful What You Wish For. Now, I used to read this book over and over again. It's all about this klutzy girl named Samantha, and she's not having the best life. But then one day she meets this old creepy woman who can really grant her three wishes. For real. But opposing to the title, Samantha is not careful for what she wishes for, and everything is, uh, well, not good. I can't remember much more. I reason. Next. Next up, The Haunted Mask. Now this is probably the most obvious choice on the list. This is, uh, the most famous Goosebumps book of all time. This, or The Night of the Living Dummy. And for good reason. I remember this book was actually scary. I was scared of this book. Of course, if I read it now, I wouldn't, it wouldn't have the same effect on me as it did then, but this book is still very memorable to me. Basically, there's this girl named Carly Beth who wants a really scary Halloween mask to wear for Halloween. Well, she gets her scary mask alright. It's so realistic and scary, people are actually extremely freaked out when they see her. <laughs> But as Halloween comes to a close, the mask sticks to her face and won't come off. The mask has became her face. The mask, it, it won't come off. I remember that this book also had a very creepy TV show episode I used to have nightmares about. I'm serious. Next. Alright, this next book, the third book on my list, is by far my favorite Goosebumps book ever made. The Cuckoo Clock of Doom. From what I remember, this book is about this dude named Michael, and one night Michael's dad brings home an antique clock, instructing the family never to touch it. But what does Michael do? Well, <laughs> he touches it. He fiddles around with the clock, and what do you know, he's a few years younger suddenly. Hey dad, how's the clock? What's going on? My birthday was three days ago. I get to go to your party. Alright, real funny joke. Michael, will you tell me what you want for breakfast? Because your friends are going to be here soon, and I still have to pick up the cake. All right, guys, the joke's over. What joke? I must have read this book around, uh, I don't know, 362,482 times when I was younger. I absolutely could not get enough of this one. If you're a young viewer by the age of like, I don't know, 10 or 11, I definitely recommend you read this book. I liked it a lot when I was your age. Not too sure why though. And finally, the last book, the last Goosebumps book that I, that really stuck with me and I really loved, One Day at Horrorland. A book all about my favorite things when I was younger, theme parks and Goosebumps. 
How could I not read this book? So the plot of this book is pretty straightforward. The Morris family comes to this weird looking theme park inhabited by these funny looking monster dudes. Everything seems fine at first, but as they continue to go on more rides, they realize something is not right. I absolutely love this book, but I think I enjoyed the TV show episode a little bit more. Because once I showed it to a friend, he was terrified and I was laughing my head off. So it holds kind of a special place in my heart. It was a great book, but an even better TV episode that I used to scare that I used to scare a friend. But to me, neither the book or the TV episode were that scary. To me, this was more of a humor-based Goosebumps book, but that could just be me. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, pretty soon we're going to have the Killer Creature Part 3 out of 10 coming like... Uh, the next video, the video after, something like that. So, you know, stay tuned for that, and I hope you enjoyed this. I just thought it'd be awesome to show off something I really liked when I was really young, and it, it just, oh, holds a nice place in my heart. The Goosebumps books are, yeah, uh, I just loved them. I really did. So, thanks guys for watching, and uh, have a fantabulous night. You know what I'm saying? Bye.